10 for any books that you were looking for that we may not have because they have some nice selections of all sorts of genres as well, all by Caribbean authors. Next, I'm going to introduce a very special lady, so we're coming up to the stage now. Let's give her a round of applause. She says she loves performing. This is my our youngest author, second youngest author, I believe, of our 300 Barbadian authors. It's Lashana Griffith. Let me just give a little introduction here. I know she says she loves Maya Angelou. She loves performing. She loves spoken word, poetry, writing, all sorts of things. And she even brought her a book. You're 21, correct? 22 years old. So let's give her a round of applause. Her book is called Unlock the Door. Okay, now Lashana Griffith is an emerging poet who was born and resides in beautiful Barbados. At the time when she wrote this book, she was 21 years old and a final year student at university, completed her bachelor's degree in political science. She truly loves writing, he says, to promote change in the world. Her goal is to become a voice for the voiceless, a hope and an inspiration. Why is this? Due to Lashana aspiring to be a great literary legend, like her idol and role model, Maya Angelou, who is a phenomenal poet and a revolutionary. And it's no surprise that Lashana's favorite poem by her is I Know the Cage Birds Sing. Well, we actually have that book as well in Chat House Books, and that's a, that's a very popular one. What does poetry mean to her? She states clearly, poetry is my diary and is a book that can never be filled. So I'm gonna take you over now to Lashana for a very special spoken word piece that she's gonna perform for us. Feel free to utilize anywhere you want on the stage. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me in the back? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the piece. So the piece that I'm going to be doing for you is actually one from my book, The Shauna Unlock the Door, and it's called Why Are We Becoming Facebook Statuses? Why do we strive to become rich? Knowing that rich is just a material commodity that only 1% of the world has. Why do we tolerate racism but claim the world is racist? Why do we see these things happening and sit down and be passive about it? But our Facebook pages are furious. Why do we proclaim to be God-fearing but we refuse to speak to that neighbor we don't like? Why? 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 Why do we critique someone wearing their African dress? Is it that we have forgotten our heritage? Why have we become a mere simple existence of Facebook statuses? If you begin to search deep inside, you will find the answer. Is it that we have become so passive that we have forgotten how to fight? And notice the small things that are happening, the injustices that only our pages are seeing. Why aren't people doing anything? Countless people die every day from hunger, but still we waste food, or caring that for a family that was a banquet. Persons are pleading for humanitarian intervention from the plight of war, but it falls on the ears of those who make the weapons. And then you ask me why I write this. I write for the voices that are choked in this system, that are crying, tired, and fed up. But we never do nothing, you know. Guess that's why we follow the unrest in Baltimore. Because deep down we wish that we could throw something at those who oppress us. But we will never do that, cause you can't bite the hand that feeds you. I write for the children who are sold into child labor that we forget when we turn on our iPad and see our latest email. I write for that little boy who, who died trying to extract the diamonds that you have in your ear. I write for the little girl who is sleeping on the street because war destroyed her home. I write for those souls who the system has in a choke home. I question. Why isn't anyone helping? It's, it is simple. 
because the forces that be are not bothered with whom the system affects once they are making a profit. If there is genocide, the state must protect its citizens. 80,000 in Rwanda was the appetizer. Genocide is happening and no one notices. A betting on a winning border about the girls that were lost to the Boko Haram cause the tweets bring back our girls ain't the latest fad. And I still I ask you, why do you turn a blind eye? It may be because you have been brainwashed to ignore and pretend the world is just and we are all equal. Because equality is a term, not a reality. Why don't we say something about it? Are we turning into states or Facebook statuses? Don't we want to help our fellow man? Or are all of us only about ourselves with self-help being a master plan? Please tell me if you see this as a problem. If you don't, it's time you wake up and see the world is not just, it's just a collection of images that the system wants you to see. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lashana, for such a passionate arena as well. Let's give her a round of applause. Our young, up and coming poet, spoken word artist, you did an excellent job. Thank you for raising some world issues that we don't often think about and things that we take for granted. Next, I would like to introduce 